very warm welcome. Greetings from CCube Academy Chandigarh. In this video session, we are going to learn where to use was and where to use were. So let's get right to it. English can be difficult, especially when it comes to words that can be easily confused. Now there are several reasons why you might be struggling to decide whether you should be using was or were in a sentence. Now the simplest of these is the conjugation of the singular and the plural forms of the past tense to be. Many people are confused as to when to use the verb was and when to use the verb were. Now there are sometimes great debates concerning the use of was versus were, but the rules for using these terms are very clear. The primary auxiliaries was and were are used to talk about past states and relationships. Was and were are past tenses of the verb to be. The verb to be is an irregular verb, which is a verb that does not follow any pattern or rules in its conjugation. Was is the first person singular past tense form of the verb to be and the third person singular past tense form of the verb to be. For example, I was home last night or she was in South America last month or she was at the restaurant until 11. Were is the second person singular and plural past tense form of the verb to be and the first and the third person plural past tense form of the verb to be. For example, you were very busy on Friday or we were at school last Sunday and Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. As you can see in all these sentences, the auxiliaries was and were are used to talk about past states. Was and were can also be used to make continuous and passive verb forms in the past tense. For example, she was working or I was writing a letter or it was raining. So take note, use was with singular nouns and pronouns like he, she, it. Now was is also used with the first person singular pronoun I. Use were with plural nouns and pronouns you, they or we. The subjunctive mood is used to describe or speculate on a hypothetical situation. Now, whenever we're talking about something that isn't a reality at the moment, we discard was and use were instead. Now, it doesn't matter whether we are referring to a single person or a group of people. As soon as we cross borders between reality and speculation, we use were. For example, I was rich and I owned a house at the seaside. Now, this talks about a reality and the second sentence is if I were rich, I would have owned a house at the seaside. Now this is a hypothetical situation. Now what you need to see here is the first sentence refers to something that actually happened in the past and the word was is the correct choice. And the second sentence is a wish or a speculation. It refers to an event that did not actually happen and were is the correct choice. That's about it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Contact CCube Academy in Chandigarh in order to join our online and offline batches for IELTS and Spoken English. Thank you and have a nice day. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.